What in the depths are you doing? Letting ourselves in. I see that, I'm very impressed. <laughs> but all those people are just let in here? Dead! All those women and children with you? Dead! Thanks for killing the only ones holding this place together. Skull! <laughs> what are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before many more refugees notice. If I knew there were fighters on the wall outside, I would have brought you in. I'm Echil. I'm in charge here. Yeah, you sure look like you're in charge, you crazy son of a gun. You heard about the chieftain? <laughs> We heard it's hiding out here in the Great Hall. <clears throat> My voice is going. Oh, really? Think you mean hiding out in a grave? He's eating worms, if that wasn't clear. What happened in here? As soon as they heard Reds were coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's the short story anyway. At least three clans in here worrying over turf and food and the worst and the godforsaken Varl. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if simply stating the obvious. We're in more danger here than out there. Look, I was in charge here before things went to crap. <laughs> you've got some people who can fight, you've got your own vow. That counts for something. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall. You fight for me, and to take back Frostweller. All right. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. Fine, cut this sheep loose and watch your own buttocks. What do I care? <laughs> buttocks sounds more fun. All I want to do right now is get out of the damn streets. Think carefully about what you want. Uh, I will join you for now. You seem crazy enough to fight well. Good, because whatever else you were thinking about would have been a bad idea. <laughs> Echo shouts to his men, and with the gates closed, you follow him down obscured alleys. Hope we don't know what. Hope we know what we're doing. Yeah, well, that's the thing. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're having fun doing it. <laughs> Gut instinct for the win. Exactly. Making it up as we go, Ivor. Chapter 3, Little Did They Sleep. So we're back at the other people. This is Chapter 3. This is... Uh... Mogir. So we're back with the the other crew. Kind of working two stories at a time here. I'm sorry I burped. Uh, with these voices, I have no idea. Hakon, we're back. I was able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted. And more weapons. Extra supplies too. You perk up, just now realizing Mogir has been talking to you. Since Vognar died... Everyone has been looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. Hakon! Yes. <laughs> I heard you. I was saying the Varl we sent to Thrand have returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough. Much resistance from the governor. <laughs> Some I didn't think. I don't think he was happy about us buying his fighters using our, his own money. <laughs> he also insisted we take on a lackey of his to watch over his property. Man named Eric. Ooh, Uben. Eric, I met him. He seemed competent enough. Regardless, the governor will have to get over it unless he wants Dredge crawling through his streets. We've put down every slag that has wandered through here while you were gone. Enough flapping of mouths, then. You sure that wound has healed, Ludin? 
I agree. Enough has already gone wrong. If something happens to the Prince on a mission of peace, the Alliance would be rot. Would rot. <laughs> or worse. Hmm. It's not Ubin. That was Ubin before. This is Hakon. Uh. Luden makes his own decisions. Yes. We would only be made to do this again later, and I will not suffer it all a second time. Either take us through to the Wandering Road, or do your job and slaughter some dredge. Man, aren't you such a butthole. Luden turns abruptly with a scowl. Skull. He scamps back to his ring of tents and followers. Wandering Road's not an option with this many. I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. If Luden won't be deterred, you'll have to deal with it. Don't let Luden get to you. Let's go. I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors, Hakon? They got the pick the the guy wrong. Come on, man. Uh the warriors. Uh Tell them we don't stop until Schlid is retaken. <laughs> Tell them we cover the mountainside in dredge bodies. Good. Give the word and we'll set off. All right. Phew, I completely forget this whole storyline. We came from Strand. We walked a bit. Uh, Luden got in trouble. Bunch of stuff happens. We have tons of supplies with these guys. And a bunch of Varl. Some renown. So we have... Uh... Ubin over here and Mogur over here. That's basically all we got. Uh, let's go talk to Ubin. He's a wise old man. You knew him well, didn't you? Vognir? No. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business. But I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Val listened. I knew that. I could use help there. Hmm. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right Varl. Mogur's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold the quill. Well, you're... You're old and wise, though. You know stuff. <laughs> you consider what to say next. Uh, I heard you were a terror in your day. <laughs> Do you know how old I am? Uh, let me guess. 300? Dare I ask? I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old we Val can get, naturally. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me. Just hunkers in Grofheim collecting rhyme. Bastard might actually beat me. <laughs> Another one named Krummer is close, I think. But the adult son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. He'll probably be off before I am. Although... Scrivener gestures around him, as if to remind you of the current situation. You chuckle. <laughs> anyway... Point is, what difference does it make? I'm just a delivery baron for your under now. Can't remember half what I've done. Hence the journal. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, do get fancy on my behalf, Hakon. <laughs> okay, I won't. Sorry. Uh, what do you suppose happened to the sun? Gods, how should I know? Never seen something like this before. Are you worried? Some of the Val in the caravan think the world's coming to an end. Others think it's the best thing that could happen. No more black months. Well, maybe. I'll take it. If it's the end, I'm ready. Spoken like a true old man. <laughs> what about the rest of us? To the depths with you. <laughs> ha! Ah, funny.
What are you always putting down in that journal anyway? How do you mean? What do I write? I write what happens. You've got a banner in Arborang for that, you know. You mean the long banner? Yes, the Menders wove up something that writes its own history. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. No? It tells a broad story. I think there's some value in the narrow. Whose story does it write? Mine? Theirs? Ludin's? Gods forbid. Heh, <laughs> you relic. The gods have been dead a long time. Oh, have they? Old habits, I suppose. Get some rest. Always more marching to do. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Alright, Ubin, I won't worry. You're an old man, you know what you're doing. And suddenly Mogra's over on this side. Can I still click on this? Oh, it's Heroes now. Alright, let's go take a look. See what the status is. We got Eric, which is back. We can promote him. He has the, the rally thing. Uh huh, fair enough. 98521. Gunulf, my beautiful man. Strongest man in the history <laughs> of men. Mogra is one out of two to promote. We can promote Hakon. We should probably do that. Uh, only costs five. Confirm. Uh, I don't think we have any trinkets on with these guys. That's fine. Should probably up his defense. And uh, give him one more willpower. Because two out of three in both of these are already good. 14 out of 18 is really strong. Could probably make him stronger. That seems like a good thing. Um, tough choice. Tough choice. This effectively makes him stronger anyway. Uh, let's make him stronger. Fair enough. Confirm. And we should uh, probably upgrade Eric. Promote. Continue. Only five right now. That's fine. Um, two or one there. Let's give him one more for the shield bashing. And one more strength. That seems smart. Good. Very good. Very good indeed. Man, look at his horns. They're fantastic. So that's the people we have. And this is the order we have. We should probably put Gunulf up here. Uh, yeah, that seems fine for me. For the Momo. Let's go talk to uh, this guy. Mogir. What do you got to say? I'd ask how you're dealing with Wagner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady, old Mogur, which is good. I know most of these Val, but they're not under my command. They came to follow Wagner. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Hmm. Anything you can tell me about the caravan? Throw it together this many, Val. Half of them wants to hit each other. The rest want to be left alone. Anyone I should keep an eye on? There's a couple of clan leaders trying to shove off for each other. Not a big deal. I've got it under control. The fighters we just got from Strand aren't bad, but they're unruly. Give it a few days. And there are a few moaning about fighting for you instead of Wagner. Those are the ones to worry about. What about Ludens' men? They don't want to hear anything from me. I know that. Any problems? <laughs> Could be. Ludin's pet varl is named Bursi. I'm not sure where he came from or what his deal is. Bastard knows how to fight. But there's something I don't like about him. His girl in red is scary too. Irsa. She's probably the best fighter Ludin's got, to be honest. I've overheard some of the varl call her... The witch. Ooh, we got a witch among us. That's interesting. Hopefully we can use her in battle. Why? <laughs> oh, I love his voice. The flaming arrows, I think. It's a good trick, but the fire upsets her all more than dredge. Hmm. Okay. Still doesn't make much sense, witch. They're not scholars, Hakun. I think they're mostly just afraid of her. That makes more sense. Don't let her find out. Have you ever wanted to be in command? More than I am. Any more rope and I'd hang myself. Ha ha ha. 
I doubt that. I forget. You weren't around back then. At one point, I had more rope. I hung myself. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so no, I'm not interested in command. It's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. I think we're walking into a death trap. This many of all? No, we should be all right. Things could get rough, though. I don't like being the one to send Varl to the deaths. I like worrying about myself, and that's the extent of it. Who would have expected Wagner to drop like that to a couple of slag? Yeah, I know, right? Such a hero and all. I guess he didn't. He wasn't strong enough when it came down to it. I'm still wondering what happened. He had hundreds of dead slag to his name. I don't get it. Just happens sometimes. No big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Yeah, lower your guard for one second, you're near down. Although I have to wonder. Nah, never mind. Were you actually going to say that he wanted to die? And he just kind of looked for an excuse to do so? Anyway, I'll worry about the warriors. You worry about not doing something stupid. That's asking a lot. Especially since I'm so feminine. <laughs> We both know what he was holding back, but let's ask anyway. What were you holding back about Wagner? I'd rather not say, Hakon. Why not? It's the kind of thing that gets stuck in your head and you need a clear one. It is better if you let me worry about it. If you say so, keep it to yourself. If there's a reason to bring it up again, I will. Let's get back to it. Let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, well. <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's fun. I'm having fun. Let's take a look at the map. Where are we anyway? We're in that little town thing. Uh, Vederfell. Oh, so we go. weren't going here. We were going up this way. Past the Red River. Some historians have speculated that the Red River was simply a counterpart to the Blue River. Named by unimaginative explorers. Anyone who fought in the First Great War could tell you that it's where the Varl and mankind came to an impasse. Neither side able to get a foothold. The river is so full of corpses that it ran red. Oof. The right foot. The left and right foot of Denglar Bay. <laughs> Denglar Bay are said to where the god Denglar himself stood when he created the thriving trade city of Strand. I'd suggest is where he stood while taking less noble action upon the land. They're now used to navigate the long coastal markets by merchants and visitors. In Karlsfjord, the fjord splits off into Val territory, was named after Karl, the only Val to ever become governor of Strand, albeit for only a short time before the title returned to the human families whose ancestors originally built the city. Alright, so we're gonna go the wandering road. Let's see what the deal is about this. At the end of the First Great War, the Val had more to contend with than mankind to the south. Above the Bratabrek peaks, the land crawled with furious war... Sorry about this. I can't read. Furious war-minded dredge. The first Val king, Einar, led the Atara Val race across the snowy fields of the wandering road, sweeping away dredge as they went, before forming the first Val kingdom at Einartoft. Fair enough. Let's close the map. So much stuff and lore you can read about this. Ah, uh, let's get back to action. Oh man, that's 20 minutes of, of just guffing. <laughs> let's go, let's see some action. Man, I love the details in the trees. It's so beautiful. Look at that, says Mogur. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. You could just as easily pass by a rush up there to slaughter them. Looting over here. Here's a dozen dredge heading towards Stran. You ask him when he started to care about Strahan. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. Uh. Send some warriors to take care of it. Will do, he says. Hopefully they'll be able to catch back up to the caravan. He rushes off to find some volunteers. Ludin and his men are not asked. You return to travel. Plus five renown. Awesome. Minus ten varl. Ah. Good luck. Wait, does that mean Mogur is gone from the caravan? 
Hack on! You can hear Ludin's hard-booted trot as you set up camp for the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? We can try. It seems clear to me to plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way, am I right? Well, you're not wrong. You're just a butthole. <laughs> you're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Val can fight. Do you understand me? D that is my banner we fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arbarang. I insist on joining in battle. Well, thank you. I almost gutted in your first encounter and ready for more. Whatever you like, Prince. And uh, I expected more resistance. <laughs> From Vogner, maybe. I'm a different kind of leader. Very feminine. <laughs> they tell me you were his kender. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin val thing? Kinda. Second in command, I guess. Don't you take on his responsibilities? Uh, that doesn't mean I care what happens to you. In my own way. And stop acting like I'm a thorn in your side. When you're nearly 200 years, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man. Is that right? Seriously. You better start. We'll both be king someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Luden looks at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. <laughs> he heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. You know, I'm, I'll accept him as a fighter. That's fine. On exertion. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. I won't. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your action. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three exertion lets you add three damage to every attack or move three spaces further than usual. If you got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally important in combat. Choose wisely. Uh, on account of the, the supplies, I know we have a lot, but uh, looking at this map that we had somewhere. Where's the map? Map. Yeah. Looking at this map, we seem to have a really, really long way to travel. Like all the, we've barely been like two days and it's like up here and we have to go all this way and probably go through all kinds of crazy stuff up here just to get to two spears and go into Grafheim. But so we should not take it lightly that we do have so much supplies. Oh, the red woman. And uh, what's his face? Oh, is that, is that the guy that Ludin uh, has as a friend? All right. Uh, rest, leave, heroes. Uh, did we, uh... Unisa is part of a thing now. Mogar is still here, apparently. Bersi. Alright, let's go talk to Bersi. He's over here now. Man, you move a lot. Alright. You have a moment? As you approach Bersi, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book-reading type. You're Bersi. You're Hakon. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? I had some questions. See what you want to say. Uh, what's Val doing working for Ludin? What's a Val doing working for another Val? What difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge right now, so do me a favor and don't get Ludin killed. Why do you care so much? He's important to you? No, but that's one way to put it. You want to kill him yourself? <laughs> uh, where'd you learn to fight? Same way as you, by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed well-protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah, not anymore. I've had a lot of jobs. Uh-huh, sure. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends on what you mean. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself and you'll figure it out. 
Does Ludin understand that? Ludin doesn't even understand the half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. Yeah, he's a bit of a, a butthole, isn't he? <laughs> you laugh at the unexpected gouge. Percy grins, pleased with himself. What do you want to know? Uh, apparently nothing. I won't keep you any longer, thanks for the giggles. See you on the battlefield, O Liter of Val. You could join us, you know. There's room in our thing for you. Mwah. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Ludin alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there was a bit of threat behind the gravelly request. Nah, I'm sure he has his reasons. However convoluted they are. <laughs> okay, let's go find this red woman. Ursa. Ursa, right? She watches you approach with her head tilted back and point a thumb towards Ludin's tent. No, here for you. Oh? Can we talk? Ursa shakes her head no, a smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. In those two curiously contradictory words, you get two impressions. She's a beautiful obsidian voice. Well, I don't know if I'm conveying that right or not, but there you go. <laughs> and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectantly. Your Ludin's bodyguard? Oh, he's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles, abrupt and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. Ah, she's a bit of a weird one, isn't she? You're a kind of an introvert, are you? <laughs> you are his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Ludin? Look. <laughs> she doesn't talk, talk much, does she? Uh, you don't talk? No. You do, though. I hear words. And they're coming out of your mouth. So, kinda. I don't. She sm smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. She's watching you expectantly. Um, it's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Wall and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. She don't give a dang. If you're going to use them... She pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist you don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts into a tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half of the camp is turned to watch. Don't tell me what not to do. Don't tell me not to. She's watching you expectantly, and well, this has been great fun, hasn't it? She crosses her arms, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Ursam! Hakon! You stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She puts her forefinger on her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Well, what I see is a crazy woman who thinks herself she's a witch, but she's actually not. So, eh, uh, whatever. I'll leave her to her delusional state. <laughs> That's what I see. Anyway, there's been a lot of talking going on in this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Either way, uh, if you enjoy watching this, please leave a like on it for me. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'd love to have you tag along for this journey. It's a fantastic epic game, and uh, so far, I feel like we've only uh, scratched the surface for it. Anyway, I've been the General. Thank you all for watching. Eddie's.